Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Discussion and Rants video. If you guys missed the previous video that I made that supposed to, that's kind of supposed to lead up to this one, um, check it out. I'll have a link either in the description, it'll be in my playlist at the end of the video or the eye icon, you know, which, whichever one I actually remember to do. I have a tendency to forget a lot of this stuff, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, in the last video I talked about how I don't like how people kind of just, you know, have certain expectations. And when I was trying to lead up to that, that was, that was a rant video that I did. It wasn't really a discussion. It was a rant about it, and... Well, what I was trying to lead up to is what I'm going to talk about in this video, which I've been bugged recently. I, I, I get bugged by this a lot. And sometimes I just don't know where to turn for it. Sometimes I feel like people expect me to be, like, to always be like this upbeat positive perky person who I I I can be and I mean what I show off in my gaming videos for one that's not a mask that actually is me derping off and you know just being goofy but that's not like the full me I've had so many people expect just positive, just only positivity out of me that it creates, it creates burnout on my mind and it, it, it pushes me to an extent that sometimes I just, sometimes I just can't handle it and quite frankly the reason I'm doing this video and I did the video earlier today that I put up instead of a couple gaming things is because I don't I am recording this at around the same time I usually record my gaming stuff because I don't have that energy to be able to record those with confidence that it would be enjoyable and I'm not gonna put on a mask I'm not Sometimes I have, and those videos end up coming out okay, sometimes good, if I forget, but of all the videos I've done, they're at the lower end of the tier, and I don't want to do that. I, I, I'd rather just be my real self, not what some people expect out of me. But... I, the kind of person I am, I get torn apart very, very, very easily. And he, the thing is, people, I've had multiple, multiple people, and I've said this already, but they expect me to be like this positive, upbeat person, just because that's what I kind of mark myself as in the long haul, but... It life doesn't work like that, and those expectations have caused me mentally to push myself to try to be that person, but in the long run, like recently, a lot of days recently, I... It's only caused hurt to me. The best way to describe the kind of pain that I can devour is it, compare me to like I don't, I don't know one of those animations where you can slug something you can ha see an animated character punch beat the crap out of like a door to try to get in in a building nothing happens. But then on a random different day, another character just walks up to the door, boop, falls down. Yeah, I'm the door, 
Those other characters are people who try to use me, I guess is one way to put it. It's not completely accurate, but it's it's a decent way to put it. And I don't know. I don't I don't like looking li at life in a negative manner. That's why I, that's actually one of the reasons why I make these discussion and rant videos is because I'm not going to be a negative person. I'm not going to be a negative Nancy. Well, whatever the male version of that is. But I'm not going to fake myself out. People can hate me for this all they want. and I, In fact, there have been several people who have hated me for this. But there are some, like Danny and Silver, my girlfriend, who accept this fact and are there when it's needed, when they can be. Some There are others too, but those two are definitely the most notable people. And in case you guys are wondering, Danny is D-Night. You guys can look him up or I'll have a link in the description if you don't know who it is. But D9Beats um, or Danny Wilson, he, he has been one of my best friends for about a year now and whenever it was needed he was always there for me sometimes I would neglect it just out of spite of myself just because I don't I just I don't like getting others involved in that kind of stuff sometimes because I don't want to bring them to I know myself well enough to know that that's how it would work out most of the time and I know someone who can vouch for that Silver, actually. She has dealt with that aspect, and she, she's dealt with a broken me multiple times. It's a miracle that she puts up with me at all anymore. That's poor phrasing, but you guys get the idea. Either way, I... I, I, I want to be my normal self, but I don't want to be forced into it. And I don't... I don't want to have to feel like... Like I'm failing. And recently, there have been several individuals who I'm going to not name at all... Um, who have caused me this kind of pain. Who have caused me to believe that I am failing. These individuals were the ones who, you know, poked the door and caused it to actually fall. I am very lucky to have many individuals who are there for me. Unfortunately, for my luck, they're always busy when I need it the most. So it's busy or inaccessible in some kind of way. For example, I don't want, one of the things for me is that I don't reach out to Danny very often when he's on stream. Because he streams, for those who don't know, who, again, haven't seen his channel before, his streams go from, like, 3.30 p.m., his and my time, um, to about, at the earliest, like, 11.30 p.m. But that's, again, that's uh, Mountain Standard Time, I believe. I think that's what it is. But between that time era, unless he's like on a break or something, I I do not reach out. I, I'm like, you know, look, he's he's busy right now. I don't want to interfere. Sometimes I do, and I kind of feel really bad when I do, but I try my best not to because it's his job. He, it is literally his job to do what he does, and I... 
these videos that I do, I mean, they're, I consider them a second job, a side job, but they're not like, you know, I don't get paid for it or anything. Hence the no ads on these. But, I, I, I don't know. I just, and then, like with my rotten luck, there's always something like that. And then, Silver, who's another prime example of this. She is a very, let, let's put it this way. If Silver and I end up getting married in the long run, I'll end up being what most moms stereotypically do. I'll be the one taking care of the kids while Silver's the one out and about, like, running errands, doing job. Well, actually, we both would run errands, but she'd be the one going to a job every day. I'd go as well, but not as frequently as her, and I'd be the one taking care of the kids. Like, that's just... The way things are going, that's that that would make the most sense. But that's I digress. Um, the thing is just that I have such bad luck that the times that I need things the most, she's like super busy or so tired that she can't focus on these aspects, which. I can't blame her for. I really can't. I have no I have no reason to do so. I really don't. I I, I have at times and quite frankly I do not like the fact that I have, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm, there's too much expected of me. And I just don't know how to go about it. If the one other thing that kind of matches up to what I'm kind of referring to, um, it's this quote from... I, I, I actually can't remember who said it. But the basic idea is that you can't help everyone or else you're helping no one don't remember who said it it was something that I was talking to a friend of mine about earlier like I think it was a few hours prior to this video being made but when he's when he cited that statement it I didn't show it but it struck me it it hit me hard because it's true and yet Because people expect so much out of me, I've been trying to do that for the past, I don't know, 10 years at the minimum. And because of that, I've been, I've been hurting myself, not, not intentionally, of course, but I don't know, I just... I've been struggling a lot, and I don't know what to do. I wish I did. I'm not going to start... I'm not going to try to delve too deep, because I don't want others to pity me. I'm just trying to be open. That's That's one thing about me that most people don't know, is that... I'm an extremely open person to the extent where it's like, you can ask me anything, and I'd answer. Say anything positive, I'll be grateful. Say anything negative, and either I'll go, where's your proof? How can you back this up? Or I'll go, well, I mean, I'll, I'll basically, if they're trying to like burn me, for example, negative-wise, then I'll just go, oh, yeah, I know. You know, because th th that's just something I've taught myself to do. But when it comes to people expecting this much out of me, that's a degree that sometimes I can't handle. Anyway, as I said, I'm not I'm not gonna ramble about this for much longer. I don't I don't want others to pity me. I don't. 
I just... I think it's something that I should vlog about because I think this is something that I do want to keep record of, at least for myself, if not, you know, to let you guys know what kind of person I really am. I might put up a third vlogging video since these are just vlogs today, just kind of discussion and rant vlog, you know, whatever you want to call it. Let's just be honest, the vlogs are basically discussion and rant videos. Speaking of, though, if I don't, well, I don't. Speaking of, though, if you guys do want to check out any of the, the discussion and rant stuff that I've done, it could be random topics or philosophical topics, stuff like, you know, where I'm talking about how I really, truly feel about certain circumstances or things going on at the time, that playlist will be on this side of my head. A random gaming playlist will be on the opposing. However, in the meantime... I'm going to head off, but I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.